Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 30th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see all the lightning activity the last 12 hours across northern central California, Sierra Nevada, up through Nevada's upper level low continues to spin across the area, bringing much colder than normal temperatures and some snowfall for the higher terrain. And this should be kicking out here over the next couple days. We're going to start a gradual warm-up as we go through next week, build some ridging over the area here as well. And we've got some tropical systems look like they may develop here south the Baja. We'll track those and see if they may bring some moisture up to the north eventually. This is looking at current hazards. You can see all the wind advisories across Nevada, Utah, northern Arizona, high wind watch there, some of California as well. And we've got winter weather advisories for some of the Sierra Nevada also. This is upper level low, tightening the gradient across the region, bringing that much colder air with it. When thunder roars go indoors, we do have thunderstorm potential here again across Arizona, Nevada, and California today, even southern California. So heads up for that. This is looking at the snowfall for Forecast. Again, mainly the higher terrains, but you can see there is some, uh, you know, noteworthy snowfall potentially going to fall above 8,000 feet. Big weather changes this weekend. Southwest California. This is for Los Angeles National Weather Service. Rain, colder temperatures, gusty winds, thunderstorms, 10 to 20% chance on Saturday anywhere. Better chance across the higher terrain. We'll take a look to see what the high resolution model has to say about that. Frost, Sunday morning. Check it out. Watch out for your pets and your sensitive plants here. Interior valleys starting to cool down here with this chilly air in the wake of this system. Rainfall through Sunday, even out to the coastline. Could get a little bit of rainfall here. The Los Angeles Metro, 10th to 2 tenths of an inch according to the National Weather Service and Southern California, including San Diego, up to three tenths of an inch there. So not bad storm here for late September. And if you want to save 10% off a nice affordable home weather station, click on that link down below. Stores are the data for you in cloud. Very fun to watch the weather roll in when you got one of these attached to your home. This is total precipitation in inches. NAM 3KM put it into motion and you can see some pretty good amounts showing up across some of Southern California, as well as portions of Nevada, Sierra Nevada, as you can see, Northern California as a system pivots across the region and starts to kick off to the east as we go through the day Monday. Now, looking at total snow, if you look really closely, you can see a little blurb there across some of the higher terrain of Southern California. The National Weather Service San Diego actually mentions it in their forecast as well, but it should just be at the very highest peaks here and maybe just kind of a novelty for the those of you out there. But you can see they got the winter weather advisories out for the Sierra Nevada here and some of Nevada as well, getting some snowfall, Utah off in towards Wyoming here and up towards Yellowstone as well as that upper level low kicks through the Intermountain West as we go through Monday. This is looking at lightning flash density potential. So you can see as we go through the afternoon today, look at that, some thunderstorms firing up there down towards Southern California, Sierra Nevada, maybe a repeat here across some of the Northern Valley, it's Northern California up through Nevada, Arizona, some stronger storms roaming around out there as well up through Utah as this upper level low. You can clearly see the spin in the atmosphere here as we go on through Sunday afternoon and possibly a repeat across some of the Sierra, uh, Sierra Nevada here. Uh, on the you know it doesn't look like it's going to be quite as dramatic here on Sunday afternoon as what we get today. But now looking at the GFF, uh, actually European, this is last night trend 06Z. Check out that trough carved out. That's our storm system we're dealing with now. But look at this, off to the south of Baja. This is the time of year where some of these tropical remnants can really get up in here and affect some of the moisture transport into the region here. But you can see the big ridge building. This is going to bounce our temperatures back as we go on in towards next week as well. So we'll watch the, both this tropical system development and this ridge. And I'll show you some temperatures here in a moment. But let's look at the upper levels here and kind of a nice visual representation of what's going on at 500 millibars about 18,000 feet above the surface and you can clearly see this beautifully carved out trough here bringing our current storm on the NAM 3 km this runs all the way out to 60 hours here and by the time you see Monday afternoon this is kicking off across the inner mountain west there Daily max two meter temperature. So this would be for today. You can see the valley area is only getting upper 60s, maybe around 70 degrees here. Do not make fun of people across Death Valley, the deserts or Arizona here. If you see them wearing jackets today or tomorrow with these chilly temperatures, a little bit of a bounce back tomorrow. And then you can see as we go through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, definite warm up coming as the ridge starts to build over the area here. As you can see, those temperatures, you know, getting maybe about above 100 degrees for Death Valley and get some mid 90s returning to a lot of the desert areas as well. 8 to 14 day temperature outlook above average signal here through October 13th. The 8 to 14 day precipitation, there may be some storm activity returning towards the West Coast. If we go through mid October, we'll continue to watch that. This is looking at the GFS. This is this morning's run. This is hot off the presses, and I'm showing you an upper level trough here. And then you can clearly see this ridge building here. But also, if you look off to the south, also showing what the European was showing here with tropical storm development possible. So we'll be watching that closely and see where this moisture may go. 
going out to about 147 hours here as that model is running as we speak. Nothing showing up just yet, but this is going to probably change over the next couple of days. Both the European and the GFS show tropical cyclone development possible down here. Now looking at the GFS as of last night, so this one will go out towards 384 hours. You can see the upper level low here. Ridge builds into the area, really warming us up as we go through next week. Tropical systems down here. Doesn't show it making too much progress north, but however, you can see it move off to the west here and then another one quickly develops there. So we've got a, a couple things to watch here as we go on in through the following week or so. Just purely fantasy right now, but interesting signal there in the GFS. And you can also see the storm track returning to some of the west coast here as we go on in through the October 11th and 12th time frame. So again, more things to watch. This is the European. Let's watch it go out uh, 10 days here. This is yesterday afternoon's run. Go out about 240 hours. There goes the upper level load there. Ridge builds. Good model agreement with the warm-up coming next week. And it shows that tropical system out here trying to develop. Where will that moisture go? Nobody knows just yet. So something fun to watch. And there are a couple of prescribed burns going out on out there across the Sierra Nevada. I know some of you guys were smelling that smoke out there. So if you're wondering what's going on, it's almost surely a prescribed fire there across the Sierra Nevada. They're trying to reduce some of that fuel load out there. There and some of that availability. So when that fire season actually picks up, like next year, we have a lot of this, uh, you know, that fuel will, will be gone from these prescribed burns. But anyway, yeah, good time to take advantage of it too at this cold upper level low across the area. A little chance for those fires to spread and really become dangerous. So anyway, yeah, hope you guys are liking these videos. We'll do this again tomorrow. Break it all down. We'll take a look at that ridge. How much are we going to warm up here? Is that storm track going to return? Is there tropical moisture going to move up into the region eventually? All good questions, things we will look at here over the upcoming days. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, we'll do this again tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys then.